Hello and welcome to another comp with tutorial. I'm Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this image. Or you can use uh, your own face, whatever you want. Uh, it kind of looks like I am inside the world, or uh, I am the world, it just, whatever. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. I'll have the links to these images that I'm using uh, in the description uh, to my website that I have them on. So let's get started. First you'll have to open up your uh, Earth image. Uh, now you'll just start in and go in File, Open, and you'll need to open up your Earth picture. I have it on my desktop. Uh, now I'll just minimize that and maximize this. So I'm going to speed this up right now while I uh, take out the black from this image. I'm going to be using the magic wand tool and then to take out this little text on the bottom. And I'll speed that up right now. And now that I'm back, I'm just going to show you uh, a good technique if the image, uh, notice how you can see the black around that. You can go into select, shrink, and I'm going to shrink it by three, I noticed that that works very well. And then uh, you just invert the selection and delete it. it and then uh, make it back so that your selection is the earth and go select feather. Feathering, uh, I'm gonna do it by 10. Uh, this just means that it's blurred to the side so it doesn't look so hard edged. So, and that's good. Uh, it looks like a clean cut. And I'm gonna add an alpha channel to this because we'll use it later. And then just delete the background of it. Perfect. Now we will need to open as layers after you've select none. You'll have to open it as layers, the picture of you uh, whatever picture you're going to be using. Mine's in my webcam folder. Uh, this one right here. So I'm going to speed this up right now while I uh, cut out my face. I'm just going to have it my face, not my uh, shoulder or my neck. So I'm going to speed this up right now. And now that we're back, I'm going to invert the selection and delete it, then invert it again, and feather it. So, uh, you don't really need it to be perfect uh, for this part because you don't really see your entire face during the image. So I'm going to start moving uh, this up to the top, and then I'm going to scale it so that it fits. Oops. Make sure that when you scale things, you have selected none, uh, or else it will just scale whatever's inside your selection instead of what you actually want it to select, whatever you want it to scale. So I'm going to move it in here, right there, zoom out, just keep moving it around until you like what you see with it, and then that's pretty good. Okay. So uh, now that you've had it scaled and uh, centered in your picture, you can uh, you can mess around with those settings, whatever you want, uh, to scale it. So now you will need to, in your face layer, we're going to need to make the colors of it blue. So you'll need to go into colors, colorize, and then move it uh, up to, I'm going to just keep moving this up until I like a good blue that matches your uh, earth. Uh, it'll kind of go into purple just be you don't want it too uh, light because it's a uh, earth and it's not very dark. So uh, you can uh, set this to 240. That's what I used if you're using this image. It all depends on your photography. If you had a lot of light in your image or not very much light, uh, it all depends on that. So I'm using 240. 
And now I'm going to duplicate this layer. On the top layer, I'm going to go into our layer mode and click darken only. You can't really see it unless you uh, uncheck the thing on your bottom layer. So this only shows the darker parts of your image. I haven't gone over this before, so now I am. Uh, it just goes over the whatever dark is in the image, like my hair, my chin, my nostrils, my eyes. That's very good, so we're going to un uh, see our bottom layer. And then change the opacity on your bottom layer to 19. Now that uh, shows whatever you want. So uh, we're going to go into our bottom layer and erase with a uh, fuzzy brush, sorry, <laughs> around wherever it doesn't look very nice. So we're just going to be uh, taking out the parts that don't look so good, like right here. Uh, you'll need to be erasing the, dark, the darkened mo layer mode image and the opacity on 19. So now I'm going to go back into the dark and only one and erase that. Be around here, that doesn't, I don't like that part. Uh, right there maybe. Oops, not too much. You don't want to do this too much because it just, uh, you want it just uh, parts that you don't want in there. Um, it, this uh, opacity on the bottom looks too dark, so I'm going to be turning this down, so about six or so. It gives a good feel of uh, what's there, so your chin there, right? I'm just going to erase my entire chin, remove this, I like erasing my hair, it doesn't really make it add to anything, it's just there. Um, pretty much the only part I like is my uh, eyes and nose, it gives a good feel of the, uh, that I'm actually in there because those are actually parts that are extruding out of my face. So um, you can take off this layer if you want to. It just uh, gives a feel that your face is actually there. It's not just your, you know, uh, your face. Like it's not just your nose or eyes. <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty good for the actual face inside the earth. So now we're going to duplicate our earth layer, and on the bottom layer, you'll have to go into filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Blur it by about 120. I like, uh, that seemed good for me. And then I duplicated it four times. Four. There we go. And then uh, you can either not show any of them and then merge visible layers, or you can keep merging down, whatever you want. Uh, they both work. So uh, notice how you can see this darkness also on the earth. This does not look very good. So I'm going to do alpha to selection and then select shrink by about three again. And then I'm going to invert it and delete. Then invert it again and then select feather. Feather by ten. And that looks fairly good. Uh, you can even erase some of the where it's really dark, like right there. The Gaussian blur kind of fills it in, so it will look fine in the end. Um, I also uh, notice on your dark and only layer, there's some parts that you need to uh, fill in because somehow it just got down there because I didn't do a very good job cutting it out. So uh, that looks pretty good on the hard-edgedness of the earth. So uh, we're just going to add a new layer. And what if your black is foreground, then do foreground color. If your black is background color, then do background color. Mine's foreground. And uh, this goes on top of your Gaussian blur. It just uh, did that for some reason. So just uh, move your Gaussian blur on top of your black. So now we're just going to add some stars by uh, going into the pencil tool and clicking the smallest brush. You don't need to do this, I just like that it looks uh, good. 
and make sure your uh, foreground color is white and just make I like like two stars per corner about uh, I just like the look of this uh, so you don't have to do this it looks fine without it so you, you if you are doing the stars go into filters light and shadow sparkle uh, I have the sparkle luminosity threshold everything's at default except for the flare intensity that's at 0.5 so click OK. Uh, this might take a while depending on how many stars you actually did and how fast your computer is. So uh, that doesn't look very good. It looks very cartoony. So I'm going to blur it. Gosh, I'm blurring it by 5, not 120. <laughs> 5. Uh, even more than that, I think. 7. Yeah. Uh, 9. It looks fine. There we go. That looks good. And now we will need to actually uh, gradient map this uh, background by going into your gradient tool and going down to deep sea. I like uh, deep sea because it kind of ties in with your earth and you'll need to go into colors, map, gradient map. That looks uh, fairly good. Uh, even if you can uh, Put your darken only layer down on the opacity just a tiny bit if it looks too hard edged, if you want. Whatever you want. It's all uh, depending on your preference and what you think looks good. Uh, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit my website, www.compwiztutorials.webs.com. And please subscribe, comment, and rate. Uh, thanks for watching.